Hey everyone, this is Achuta Bhava from Nightlight Astrology, and today I wanted to read something to you that I wrote. So about a week or so ago, uh, as those of you who guys watch my channel regularly probably know, I lost about 300 or 400 subscribers uh, due to publishing a previous, previously private list of bhakti yoga videos that I had made. And I felt really bad about it because you know, I never meant to bombard people with content that they weren't seeking and hit people with a million notifications all at once. It was a super regretful event. I felt really bad about it. Um, but as things would have it, maybe Mercury retrograde, a week later, and we've earned all of those subscribers back and more. Today, we surpassed 40,000 subscribers, kind of a milestone as a YouTube creator. And so today, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you and to pause amid the slipstream of planets that we track every day and just point my fingers up beyond the interpretations, just point to the lights themselves. So I wrote something for all of you. Astrology has taught me three things, and I couldn't have learned them without sharing these things daily with all of you. The first thing that astrology has taught me is the art of metaphysical affection. Metaphysical affection, the word metaphysical means the science of things transcending what is physical. It means what comes after physics. And the word affection means to desire, to be inclined toward, to be in relation with, to love, and to touch with enthusiasm. Astrology each and every day shows me the truth in small things and big things here in this physical world that also goes right beyond the physical world. And astrology not only shows me these things, but it shows them to me in a way that generates love in my heart that inclines me in my mind toward my experiences, no matter what they are. Astrology shows me the path of relationship to the world. Relationship that touches my soul and lights my path, that touches my life with enthusiasm. The word enthusiasm, entheos, there is a God within living in the center of every single beating heart. And astrology helps me to see that in you, and it helps me to pray so that others might see it in me. Astrology shows me a truth that goes beyond knowledge. It's a truth wrapped in love and beauty, and it makes me feel as though something is showing me tenderness as it is helping me to understand. And it makes me want to be tender, makes me want to be gentle and kind. Astrology imbues my life not with dry metaphysics, but with metaphysical affection. Transcendental appreciation. The word transcendental means to rise above or to surmount as in to overcome a difficulty or an obstacle. And the word appreciate means to rise in value, to be fully conscious of, or a wise judgment or delicate perception. Astrology each and every day shows me that the secret to overcoming difficulties, to rising above the prisons of my pain, to surmounting the boredom and heartaches of this world is to appreciate them as though I'm looking out through the eyes of ghost nebula, as though I am an eternal pilgrim watching the most amazing light show ever created. And from the heart of this deep space, it's not that pain isn't pain, it's that pain is so real so real that it's painful and it's beautiful. And from the heart of this deep space, it's not that fear and horror aren't terrible. It's that fear is so scary and horror so horrible 
that they color the depths of the infinite with streaks that can't be seen with naked eyes. It can only be seen with the eyes of the heart. My appreciation is born of wonder and awe. What can we say? What can we do? But yes, to say, yes, it's all here and it's all real. Astrology gives me a peace that passes my understanding. I don't understand it. And so I can only stand in appreciation, a transcendental appreciation. Universal celebration. Universe means occurring everywhere, belonging to all or all together. And celebrate means to perform publicly with appropriate rights. It means famous and it means to assemble. It means crowded and well attended and it means a demonstration of joy. And this is where astrology leaves me each day when I get to share it with all of you. I begin to see that no matter what is happening, no matter who it is happening to, at the bottom is the blood rich beat of love. At the bottom is the need to love and to be loved. And all colors of experience whatsoever speak to this love and all colors of experience are rights, ritual and enactments of souls looking for souls, love looking for love. Astrology goes on and on. There's always a new transit to talk about because there's always a new day with the need for love dawning on us over and over and over and over again. And I say, please, please don't stop for a minute. We are all here. We are assembled. This is a well-attended gathering. There is nothing forgotten. There is nothing unseen. Nobody, nobody is ultimately left alone. And I say, please give us affection, give us appreciation. And the natural result of our study of this mighty sky is a congregation of joy. Not the joy of mindless indulgence, not the joy of transient privileges, but the joy that we came here for. We know it's a real joy and we can hear it when we hear the stars singing our names. So we gather to celebrate each and every day. A universal celebration. Please color our lives, color our hearts, hold our hands. Please don't stop. Please don't forget us. We are not afraid. We are not afraid. Protect us and draw us closer together. We are a well attended assembly here in the stars. And we are here to demonstrate joy. Amen. <laughs>